Hello everybody. So, I decided that I was going to start a new series of Skyrim that would challenge me to do a certain thing, and you'll find out what that certain thing is when the video goes up. But before I do that, I had to start a new game. And when I started the new game, something very strange happened. Um, something glitched out. And some of the soldiers started fighting me as I was still in the carriage going into the Helgen to be beheaded. So, go ahead and watch this and uh, I'll do a little bit of analysis. So, as you can see, um, we have soldiers running around attacking random prisoners. Um, you can see arrows here stuck into the cart. They're, they're shooting me. I'm not sure what they think they're going to accomplish. We can't die, though, because we're all... We're, like, protected for somehow. Um, so you'll see here in a second that... Uh, oh, yep, yep, yep. So everything goes sideways, because I, I assume an Imperial soldier gets stuck in front of it, and then it, like, flips over. Um, you can see that they're still attacking me, it, even though they don't realize it does no damage whatsoever. Uh, so it's kind of funny. I'm not sure what caused this. It just, as soon as I started the game, people started attacking me. So I fast forwarded a little bit to this scene, where we're all standing around looking around. This scene has repeated and went on for, like, five times longer than it was supposed to go on. So you'll see here that there's still more soldiers running around aimlessly. So you can see that, for some reason, they have begun attacking people. Um, the Imperial Soldiers are attacking me, the Stormcloak Soldiers are attacking the Imperial Soldiers. I don't know where these people came from. I assume this is just a bug or of some sort. But you can see that there's like an all-out war happening in front of me. And all cutscene has stopped. They're all just standing there looking around at dead bodies. And just kind of being like, oh well, I don't know what to do. And they've killed Roloff. And he's not supposed to die like that, but the scene continued on as if it did. As if it did happen with the executioner's block, but it didn't. And now it's continuing on because something happened. I don't know what happened. Oh, oh, okay. Well, he was getting pushed. So, yep. Here I go to the block. There's like an awkward amount of silence there. Oh, now they're fighting again. So, is this this part where this happens? The dragon lands. Oh yeah, and then he gets up and flies away again. Um, I don't know why. And then he goes and he lands. And then he's like, nah, 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 I'm gonna leave. This isn't cool. And he leaves again. And then he comes back and lands again, and I think he stays this time. Yeah, so I was kind of scared that, like, the actual game wasn't going to start at any point. And then the game eventually starts. So this guy's just on fire. He's just living with it. So I recently watched a video where a guy figured out how to get out of Helgen without actually, like, doing completing the first quest how to just escape so I was trying to recreate that for this whole time and it took a long time for me to do it and I've died a couple times from this dragon because if you stand in one spot too long the dragon will just come down and eat you and you'll just die also I was given the quest to join the Imperial Legion while the Imperial Legion was trying to chop my head off one of the Imperial soldiers actually walked up to me in one of the instances of the beginnings, it was like, hey, you should join the Legion. Go talk to, you know, General Tullius. So, there was that. And I eventually, I walk up to General Tullius and I don't have the option to actually talk with him. But it's just funny that I got that quest so early on. And also got it, you know, while they're trying to kill me. Like, why, I don't, <laughs> like, hey, come join us. We'll chop your head off. Like, that's just, never mind. I think it's funny. So here's another scene that I love. In one of the beginnings that I did, uh, you could see 
Everything's fine, and then you see this guy run across the screen, and he's like, I'm ready to go fuck shit up. Um, and then it kind of just stops, and we all just stare at, at nothing for a very long time. And it's very awkward, and they're all just like, yep. Alright. Here we are. And it's just really funny, and I, I think it's a really funny moment. I just noticed that this priestess lady is just like walking away like I'm done with this shit. Like, I don't even need you. So I'm not sure exactly what caused these soldiers to be so pissed off at this one particular guy. But they are just wailing on him. That's, you know, it's not supposed to happen. I don't even know what's happening anymore. They kind of went off camera. Oh, he just walked back. Oh, he's, he's untied. His hands were untied. Oh, now he's dead. So, that's the only thing that's weird for this run. Um, I'm just going to skip ahead on this one until you guys will see what happens. So, I'm desperately trying to find a way to get out of Helgen, besides for the way of going underneath. Because I feel like there was so much debris and, like, platforms that I could maybe, like, kind of glitch out a little bit and, like, see what's going on. I just, I really was trying to break the game at this point. So eventually you will see that Alduin comes down, spews some nonsense, Fustro does me, I almost go under, but then I like strangely ragdoll, stand back up, and then he disappears for a little bit, and then he comes back down again, he turns himself right around, right, does he? I don't, do. don't make me say things and then you actually don't do it. Okay, he's gonna fly off. Alright, so here's my lucky break, he lands. I get in position, Fus Roda, he hits me, I fall over, and I slide right underneath. Beautifully, beautifully slide right underneath, all oiled up and nice. So now I am outside of Helgen, where I'm not supposed to be whatsoever. So you might be thinking to yourself, wow, Milix, that's really, really cool. So happy for you. That's pretty actually, that's actually really lame. It's just lame. You might be thinking that. Well, if you are, then you... I've just crushed my dreams because this is actually super exciting to me. And I eventually go and I see these people down here. There is something seriously wrong with these people. You can see the textures on their face are all like knitted and patterned. He is purple and has yellow across his face and she has yellow across her forehead. And I'm sure there's something wrong with her. They're all, they look terrible. And I, I think, let me go back here. One of them's name is Beth. What kind of, like, what kind of Skyrim name is that? Daryl? Beth and Daryl? Like, those aren't Skyrim names. It's just very strange. So this is an interesting thing, little, little thing here. Uh, the, how the gate, you can see out of it from the inside. Like, it's clear. But if you were on the other side, you obviously wouldn't be able to see it like that. That's just kind of weird. There's not much out here. And I can't interact with anything because my hands are bound. So I can't talk to people. And I can't touch things, and I can't fight people. So it's it's kind of hard to, to play. There's not much of a point of being out here, I soon realize. So I eventually just go back in. And thus, this is where my Skyrim challenge begins. There's going to be a whole other series for you guys. Just all about this Skyrim challenge that I'm doing for myself. And I think it's going to be really fun. I think it's going to be really interesting to see what happens. It's not... I'm not going to try to make it super funny, I'm, it's just sort of an experiment to look at. So I'm kind of experimenting with Skyrim to see how far I can take something. But, yep, uh, thank you guys for watching this weird, like, beginning intro to Skyrim, how it was all messed up. And uh, I will see you guys in this series. Ta-ta!